So, so, right, decided to jump out, walk. Beautiful part of the world. Why sit in a car? So, there's uh, Yumiko Express going up there. Walked up here because I used to at home think about this place, and that's the one small regret I had is that we drove everywhere and I just wanted to enjoy it by walking up and up on this mound is a really nice mud pond <clears throat> and yes Frogs. Always regretted not doing that. Now I've done it. So I remember going up on that hill there and looking over. In fact, this is my screenshot. Screensaver picture. <clears throat> There's young Anthony working away. Rasta Koi photographer. Rasta Koi photographer. <laughs> and judge. Ah, here we go. Ooh la la, that's all I can say. Ooh. That's a Kajako and a half. Anthony, what does that koi remind you of? The one with the pip nose? Uh, yeah? Look at how they live. Yeah. Awesome. Look like cousins. <laughs> Truly magnificent. That's a goshki there. Oh, so you didn't see it as clear as these. I know. Is that yours, Mike? No. Oh, was. Was yours? Sold it. Yeah. Customers, man. Come have a look at this car and tell me what does it remind you of? Huh?
Yours? Customers? Don't say anything, Aunt. Let me see if you. Let me see what your dad think. Does that quite remind you of? Oh yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, Isn't it? Uh, what is Same body, everything. Yeah. What do you think? Oh. That's why you come to Japan, yeah. yeah. I oh, said, I said last year, Tati Go had the best koi collection I've ever saw. Absolutely fabulous. Ponds full of just size sevens and eights. It's ridiculous to be honest. And the skin quality on them is absolutely sublime. Absolutely sublime. How big do you think Ooh, it's like Trinidad in here. And it's covered up as well. I remember coming here, that's where I bought my kahaku from. This one. That's Ponde. Are these sold or? Uh, a few, I think. So there is some available. you own anything in here? Mm, possibly, maybe. Just think about Yumiko, you can never get a direct answer. There's always a possible, always a maybe. You don't know uh, what price is it. Oh, it's difficult. It's like dealing with a French. Isn't it, Mike? Isn't it, Snaden? Hey, it's like dealing with a French. Lord have mercy. Does he have Goshki parents, Mike? No. No, so how did they get the Goshki from what breeding? They might be Goshki. I know, but if you said no, they got no Goshki parents. How are you going to breed Goshki without Goshki? There's one there for your chip. Which yeah. one are you looking at? There. Yeah. I don't think that's the best one, I think that's the one I like. Okay, so we're playing this game called Spot the Best Fish with Mike Snaden. So, and well, I'll go with mine. What's that? That Maritan there. The Maritan there is just going over the Goshki. Well, I'm just going like that. Or the four step that I pointed out earlier. Where is it going? There, the four step there. Look here. It's good. It's actually. What is that? Which one? The one below the bag. Yeah. yeah, and then this four step here. But the sashi, I'm not sure about the sashi on this one. Yeah. Go on, I can always edit it. <laughs> Stephen has declared his hand as yet. Anthony and I have. Well, we haven't, you haven't declared your hands. Come on then. No, he wants the best one. I'm still sticking with my Maratan there and the four step. If you had to decide one as being the cashier, if like the most valuable fish, the Maratan with the big, big ojume, not too far. Then we'll try to go like them. Yeah. Yes, but if it's the most valuable fish overall, chances are. I like that goshki. It wouldn't be the goshki. Is that ants mm -hmm. one there? That big bodied. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, ant discover that one. How many rips to have over the fish? Okay.
So you're not digging that Maritan then, there? Ew. That's coming past the Sankey. Why is it it's not my favourite, it's one of the favourite. There's two that I like. Check it out sitting on the fence. Okay, yeah, it's my favourite then. And? What, a four step? Yeah, the, yeah, the only thing is the sashi is a bit, I don't know. The Oh, which one, sorry? Come on, Instagram, Mr. Stephen, which one did you choose? You can't choose Anthony's because he, cho he he put his name to that. No pressure, the world is watching. All 47 countries. We're 21k last time, come on. No pressure. This is when we'll be playing that queen. Is it queen? Under pressure? Under pressure. All the time, yes. Most of the time. I'm just no, 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 not most of the time, all the time. I'm just getting ready to take my belt off. Right, and beat me. that camera and its effect on me today, you know, yes. yeah. accumulating. But yeah. today you're going to get a day off. Okay, why is that? Because that's the one. That's the one, I did it. Yeah. Come on, Rasta Koi. Hands down. Yes. Hands down. There it is. Come on, high five. Yeah. High five, high five. <laughs> high five. There you go. Come on, give me a high five. Let's see that camera. Don't push your lock. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, you know what? I feel better now. I've picked the fish. So we're just discussing the Mike's best one that I, by luck and chance, I picked it. it was pure luck. But um, if you look, if you look at it, uh, look at the skin just points out. The skin is just better than anything else, and it's got tail stop. It's got four equal things. So. How did I do it? It's a long body and an equal pattern. And what did Mike give me for it? What did Mike give me for doing it? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the overall quality yeah, is, yeah, is very good, yeah. So you think as my teacher, you'd be proud, but he's not. He's just, I, I said, I'm just saying to the camera, you think as my teacher, You'll be proud that I, I'm actually learning. As much as I might be proud, I would hate to actually show it. Oh, okay. I couldn't. You couldn't possibly, possibly live. Give you the pleasure of yeah. feeling all like uh, like you just got a trophy badge, a little gold star. Okay. You let you feel that. Can I can I just have a bronze one instead? You you were made for these temperatures genetically. I Genetically. Was, I was made for more Arctic conditions. Yes, with your nice slim shape. That's right. It's <laughs> a nice. Look, 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 see, he's got a swagger on his shirt. Swagger. Look, yeah. look, swagger. Like look, 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 yeah. look, The man's cool. He's cool, see, so he's got swagger. 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 Do you know? Yeah, yeah, man. Wow. I and I. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you see, he's impressed. Yeah, so. You know, do you know a bathing ape? Babe? Babe, ah. Yeah. I know, I know. Babe. But he called it bathing ape. No, swagger was double color, unicolor. Unicolor, yeah, convenient color. No, 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 expensive. Yes, he 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 don't, don't know. Copy. Copy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, babe, you know. Yes. Uh, I went to Osaka. I bought a babe hat. Uh, babe. Hat. Yeah. Uh, Patagonia. But I I bought for my son. Oh. He's uh, seventeen. So he wanted a babe. babe. Oh. But he wanted a champion babe collaboration. It was not too expensive. <laughs> Unfortunately, old Chippy can't spell so well, so we didn't get him a vape t shirt. He bought him a vaping cigarette thing instead, didn't you? Made him Moving on. You thought you meant vape. If anybody's looking for He Yutsuri, contact Mike Snedden. He's a master yeah. He Yutsuri champion. In England, Mike, Mike San. Mike San. Is master for shisui. 
masterpiece. Uh, master of uh, Koi. Ah, yeah. Shusui. Shusui. Asagi. Asagi. And Hiyutsuri. Hiyutsuri. Maybe Beko too. Beko. Beko. Definitely Beko. Yeah. Beko. <laughs> it's going quiet now, look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. These are very good pieces, huh? Very good example. What size you reckon these are? Do you reckon these are 65, 70? <laughs> okay. They look they look big. Yeah, they are. Are they reasonable? Sorry? What sort of do we know the costing? No, Tommy. This is not a Tommy. This is a very expensive. It's a very expensive watch that my wife bought me as a gift. So Sarah, when you're watching this, Mike is just taking the mick out of what you bought for me. Look who's there. It's a beautiful watch. It's a beautiful watch. <laughs> hey, welcome Rastakoi to Matsekoi Farm. Well. Imaru yeah, boy. Imaru boy. Yeah. <laughs> well so we're walking over to the farm. We're waiting for the pond to drain a bit, the mud pond. So while I'm doing so, I thought I can't just sit and wait and look at some fish. I don't know how well you would see, you probably wouldn't see nothing because the um, air is on but these look like to be possibly missile. So this is Matsue Koi Farm, lots of kahaku, about, water is a bit murky so you're probably not seeing very well, if hardly anything, but um, these are big fish, if they're side, these are big, these are not small fish whatsoever, and the quality is pretty, pretty, pretty up there, which to be fair is what um, Mike told us, when we landed in, that uh, the quality of Matsue was uh, pretty good. Yeah. Some fry. I don't know if these are like general fry for sale or what. Okay, filming? Yes, just arrived at Matsue Koi Farm Mud Pond and it's been draining so I've just jumped out the car, sent Mike and they are down that way and uh, so we can see. If ever you wondered, uh, worried about herons in your pond, there must be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine herons there. Obviously they've lowered the water so but yeah, so this is uh, one of Matsue's many uh, mud ponds. As you can see, it's big. It goes all the way up there, it goes all the way around the back there, and all the way here. So we're coming to do a bit of harvest. I never thought in a million years growing up in Trinidad, uh, in a humble beginnings in a small house, and uh, not much that. One day I'll be walking in Japan. Just some of this stuff is more of a privilege than a right, and I actually look forward to doing it in many ways. But yeah, actually, the water looks quite high on this side, so maybe they have quite a way more of draining to do. But.
so these are from the harvest this uh well you just saw the phone we missed most of it but here we are catching up on that with, uh, Anything interest you, Mike? What's that? This one, uh, but it looks a bit flat on that side. I don't know. Okay. The four step looks like. Yeah, it's flat on that side. Good, eh? Good sashi on it as well. On the four step that you. Yeah. These are just being harvested. And we are able to just have a quick look. And the breeders are looking for their customers first. Well, these would be customers as well? Someone that, yeah, yeah. I got it, so. Sister of Kaiju. Kaiju. Kaiju baby. Kaiju baby. So these are good and these are not high level, uh, low level? Mm, so, so. So, so. so we're here at the famous Matsue Koi Farm with Takasan. Most handsome, most handsome koi breeder in <laughs> Japan. Thank you. Most handsome. Jaru! So I think we are Tomo-san. Hi. Hi, this hello. is Tomo-san of Matsue Koi Farm. And his father is picking some fish for me to look at. He has a very good father. Very number one father. <laughs> Kashira father. <laughs> Rasta Koi. So obviously I'm not So I'm looking at some fish for me. These are um, and I've asked uh Takasan, please choose these select these for me. So I wanted him to select them because he's the breeder and it's just a nice thing to buy something that the breeder has selected within my budget as it was. Yeah, the workers working very hard. Tomo, Tomo san. Hi. Last night when we were speaking, we were talking about koi. How you select a good koi? Do you remember? Uh, body, skin, and heart. So you looked at body first. Yeah. Always body first. Yeah. 
Body is number one. Body is check number one. Check number one. Mm. Then? Second is skin. Then the skin. Mm. And lastly, pattern. Lastly, pattern. Yeah. So that's always number one. Always number one is yes. mm. So we're looking at a few fish that he's bowled up for me to look at. So far I can feel the butterflies in my stomach. couple years time this man will be speaking fluent Japanese we need no translation there is number one father Kashira father Takasan <laughs> they look okay the bodies are really good yeah, you know think so Stevenson yeah the skin is a lot more uh Body line on them, mm. more Look at the mosquitoes, yeah. Somebody was daft enough to wear shorts. I wonder which one is that. The Maritime. Maybe out of my price range. Rasta Rasta So Rasta Good Rasta Good Rasta mm. Well, going on body line, going on body line, them two has a better body. Yeah. Which, which is what I'm. Better body. This back line is really powerful. The back the line. The one, yeah. Mm. And the other two. They're all same spawning, right? Mixed. Mixed, okay. Yeah. This one, the head seems a bit broader. Yeah. But this one, back end, seems thicker. I think that one's a nicer fish. Mm. I think the quality of the belly is higher. Oh, okay. The is nicer on it. Yeah, See? sure. Um, I think the body probably slightly better. To put it on weight and. And these are within my price range. You can afford them. Okay, even that's good. Rasta man can buy these. Even Rasta, even Rasta man. Okay. It's a nice pattern. Yeah, be. sure. But I don't know how big it will. No. Mm. 
Oh, one more zen. Unusual head. No. Body's not as good, not so much length to it, but no. it's very all, all round it, I think it's decent. I want somewhere to grow though, it needs to be one of the others. Mm. One of the other two. It's not got so much strength to its frame. Sure. The backbone is not so thick or strong, mm. the shoulder's not so powerful. But and it's good to see that because. The style of this nice, Sashi style, Sashi's deep but it's good, mm. blends out nice. That was good. It's not so good, we're getting big. Yeah, one more. Still, for me, that one seems the best. Yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. 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 うん、全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部いい。全部
Not like Mike. Not Koi. like not like Mike San. Hey. Not like Mike San. No, no, the Koi wouldn't wouldn't, like wouldn't turn like yeah. Mike San. Right, can you yeah. just can you breathe yeah. Mike? Yeah. Yeah. I can breathe, I can talk under everything. See all it is just tensing up those it's all muscle. All muscle. So we're gonna tensing it all up, it all just like tightens it in real nice. In the muscle. In the muscle. In the muscle. Yeah. In the muscle. Yeah. Six parts, no fat enough. In the many fat. In a many fat. Six pack like you. Yeah. Six pack. Yeah. Six pack. <laughs> One large pack. One large. Keg. Oh, pack. Keg. 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 Barrel. Six. <coughs> yes, Mike. Hmm. Oh. So, I decided to go with that. Alright. How do you number two? Thank you. That's your number two. How do you number two? Anthony Green. White Kaiju. White Kaiju. So we've gone with Rasta Koi. Rasta Koi. Rasta Koi. New Rasta Koi. New Rasta Koi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tata. Thank you, Tata. Thank you. Now coming to the UK. Oh. Nice and nice and long as well. Yeah. 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 Very, pleased. very pleased with that. Very pleased with that, Koi. So I gave him the budget. Mm -hmm. uh, you keep tightening it up. You hit it in my muscle. I'm getting You hit it in the ribs. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Mike, Sam, for my budget? For your budget? Yeah. Cheap as chips, pun intended. Yeah. No, good. Good. Good fish. Quality's good. Head's good. Body type's nice. Colour and key was good. It's just a compromise, is the pattern. It's not a big compromise, though. I think yes, it's a yes. big fish. Uh, ask them if you want to take a photo. Photo. Hey. Photo, pa photo. Oh, they're going to, are they? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Grass Sorry. Grass Sorry. Number one, and he's available. Any ladies in the UK looking looking for a husband? He would he would he likes at least nine children, so he's available. Anthony's is Anthony spoken for? Okawa Yuki uh, and Tomo San. Not available, no. No. No, he's finished. Done. No name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Corn soup is done. That's his name. Corn soup. Corn soup. I don't know. I think he's, I think he's the model, you know, the model. So these are going back. And then. Um, yeah. So, what is your name? What is his name? Takuma Igawa. Huh? Takuma Igawa. Ah, and you want to get married? English girl? Yes. Yes. Ah. Ah. How old are you? Come close. How old are you? Eighty years old. Eighty? Eighty. Eighty. Oh, I thought you said eighty. Eighty. Why are you laughing at him for, Tomo? She said 80. She or he? He. he. Oh, okay. And uh, are you rich? Uh, no. Uh, oh. What can you offer an English girl? Uh, I can only translate that. All oh, right, in a bad way. Yeah, in a bad way. Okay. <laughs> so he's young, he's young and single and ready to mingle. I guess that wouldn't translate, would it? Oh, okay. So there you go, show your muscles. 
Uh -uh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so the boys selected a few of these to look at. more pleasing patterns I should say the body lines are what you gotta look for so we were looking at these so we'll decide to look at all these fish here yeah. and, uh, We've just, just counted that one straight away because of the body line. I don't think it'll improve over the next couple of years. No. Then we'll look at the other maritime and just if you, if you compare the maritime between the body shapes on the four step and the three step there, uh, it's just not right for, I just don't fancy that. You know, we're thinking it's like two, three, four years down the line. And I don't think that's got the structure of the body line. Uh, so again, for us, you guys for are us. looking at long term yeah, toys. For us. Like we so, were saying off camera, you're tired of buying yeah. coin and yeah. having to get rid of them. So we're looking at fish sort of like two, three, four years down, down the line. line. So we've discounted that, we've discounted the other one. Then we're looking at the other fish the, in the three steps, absolutely fabulous body shape, everything yeah. structure, body line. But I'm a bit worried about the Dan joining, joining together. together. And they will do. Yeah, and they will do. Superb. The breeder loves that. Yeah. loves that. Yeah. One. yeah. So then we're down to two fish, which is the four step and that four step there. So the main thing we're looking at now is really is the body shape and the overall body shape we think long term is the four step. So that's where you both yeah. are your lead. So in Japanese, Kuno Koi wa Torimo i Desne. Wow. This Koi is very good. So this is Stephen and Auntie's fish, we're just getting a picture. You should be pleased with that. Everyone's here are today, so super cool. That's the one. That's the one. I think you got it there. Why you put a song called Dark Horse? Because I in the car. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, 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 that's it. Nice to look at the Kohaku and you're leaving with 
Ichivan Goshki. Mm. I think that's the words I heard. Yeah, very true for that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, stunt that's very hard to get a good example, and there was one there. So very one. It was the uh, number one. He said. So. It was, uh, just too good to give up, really. Like, yeah. That's something different, isn't it? Oh, different yeah. varieties. Yeah. Uh, Be interesting to um, watch it develop and mm. see how it all. Uh, yeah. 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 So it's our last day today. Sadly, twenty Japan twenty seventeen. Uh, videos have started and finished all seen in a week. We started off by going to Kawa Koi Farm and we finished here at Takigawa, which I think is fitting. Um, one of the things, like I keep saying on the trip and then reinforcing the people, is how hard it is to find the fish with everything on there that you need. It's not come out here with loads of money and just pick up fish everywhere. It, it is very difficult and, and just spending that, that couple of days with you seeing what you have to purchase and, and the process of getting it, it yeah. is difficult. Certainly not easy, that's for sure. So, um, when you when you select in koi through from harvest all the way, because obviously there's a harvest happening now, um, you're able to sort of get in there and select fish for your own stock um, and for potential customers. Um, when you're doing so, do you buy what you like or you generally buy what is good? Um, I buy what I consider to be good. Mm. Um, basically, insofar as what I think will turn out good in the future, because to buy on the strength of what I think I can sell easily isn't really a good way forward right. because you can sell something that could sell really easily that actually could work out no good later on anyway yeah. and then it just reflects badly on you so I kind yeah. of buy what I think people should have yeah. rather than what I think people will buy yeah. and so that's my kind of thought process really when I'm choosing yeah. fish and I think you've only really got to look at fish that have been left at breeders growing on to kind of see how that reflects I mean if you look at let's say buying the site um, if you then looked on to let's say fish that were left with breeders through until Sanzai and see what was harvested you wouldn't really see that many fish that were that good yeah. out of a harvest. Yeah. I, as I said earlier at breakfast, I think if you were to leave fish in Japan in a mud pond, even expensive fish, you'd probably find a sand's eye that maybe only, say, 10% or so were really, really mm. good. The others might be decent, but only maybe 10% of those fish that were really good to start with would actually be really good. So yeah. it's a case of trying to make the best judgment on what you have, an instinct is going to turn out mm. particularly good in the future is what it's about well I mean for me I obviously left a fish in 2015 which would have been Nisai yeah um, and haven't seen it at Okawa I mean you sort of you didn't really tell me much about it um, no one sort of said but when I saw it I was really really pleased mm. um, yeah. and I think okay it was his back then Kashira yeah. But still, that don't guarantee anything. It could. It doesn't necessarily. Yeah. No, I mean you might, in some instances, a breeder might say, okay, this is the cashier, let's say. But I might still look at the fish and say, well, you know, I can see why. But yeah. to me, this is risky in this regard or yeah. that regard. Um, you know, that can be the the case as it were. But I think within any given, um, I don't know, selection process of fish. There's always going to be elements that you feel are particularly safe or particularly reliable mm. and elements that have basically got much uh, more of a sort of a gambling degree of odds really, mm. um, whereby, yeah, it could become good and it could be really, really special mm. um, or it could just completely fail. So, yeah. you know, there's different ways of looking at different finer points and saying, OK, this could be good, but it's risky or this will be good, but not potentially as good as the risky one mm. but it's not going to fail so yeah. there's you know different ways of looking at it mm. i was surprised how big it was i was not expecting that size no. for some reason i don't know why but it was yeah, it was size, big yeah. and, and the yeah, body's right and, yeah oh, 79 eight. 79, 79 yeah. On side, yeah yeah and then also yeah. then we went over to ueno and saw the fish that mm. i left there yeah. which i picked from a Photo or video, I can't yeah. remember. Photo from five of them. Yeah, 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 and that did really well. So, yeah. I mean, I'm saying this because this is the thing I, I wanted to ask: is how how important it is for a hobbyist, a serious hobbyist, that one day they make a trip to Japan, even if it's the one-off trip. Um, this is my second yeah. trip, but how how important do you think it is? I uh, actually don't think it's important 
apart from putting things into perspective, mm. as I'm sure it has for you. I mean, I yeah. think people, I think there's a few things that people in the UK or any country for that matter that are into Koi will have in their sort of mind's eye, and that'll be that if one day they went to Japan, if they came with a briefcase full of money, let's say, mm. they could walk into farms here, there and everywhere and get fantastic fish. Well, in reality, it is literally hunting in every sense of the word. You mm. are literally trying your damnedest to find something good somewhere. Mm. Um, and sometimes it doesn't always work. So good fish don't grow on trees, yeah. contrary to what people might think, you know. And um, and likewise, I think when people come to Japan, they just think there's farms scattered all over the place and there's everyone's got a fish pond in Japan, everyone keeps koi and bonsai, but in reality, I mean, I've had it many a time where I've been in Japan and speak to people and they say, oh, what do you do in Japan? Are you on a holiday? And they say, oh, no, yeah. business. Ah, okay, what do you do then? And they'll say what I do and they're like, really? Do people actually buy those things? And this yeah. is Japanese people. Yeah. You know, they're completely gobsmacked that, yeah, they might have seen it on TV, mm. koi on TV and Niigata, that kind of thing, or that sort of thing. And, and yet, they, although they've seen it and they know that it's something that's produced in Japan, they don't realise that there are actually people out there that do actually want to buy yeah. these things. It's like my mate Chikara, who lives here, and yeah. I, he was my roommate. He was shocked that I'll come all the way here just to look at fish. Yeah, quite. You know, and he's Japanese as well, and yeah. he's just blown away. So, I, I, you know, for me, the trip, um, Koi is about budget, but I felt, rightfully or wrongfully, you could put me right here, that it seemed that koi was a little bit more expensive this year than it was in 2015. Um, would you say so, or do you think it, it rises and falls? I don't really think so, but there's mm. an awful lot of factors that come into play with it as well. Yeah. I mean, I think um, the price maybe usually would be higher if the fish are better. Um, okay. But likewise, I, I think mm. if you're trying to find special fish and a breeder maybe one year mm. is really abundant with special fish, he needs to, to earn a certain amount of money that season. Yeah. So he'll look at his fish and he'll say, well, OK, I've got loads of really good ones. I can sell these fish, let's say, 800,000 yen, let's say, mm. um, perhaps 10 fish of that sort of level. Another year might not be so good, and he might say, well, actually, this year I don't really have any good fish, but this one fish is really good. Um, but this time I want 1.2 million yen for it right. because it's not abundant. So right, yeah, yeah. he's not I understand. so desperate to sell. So, so it's not generally the markets of other countries, I don't want to name them, but throwing a lot really of money around. I think so. I mean, some markets are perhaps heavily dominated by certain countries as mm. a client base goes. Yeah. But I think most breeders, I think where they have a bit of a boom in one market, mm. they'll also see a bit of a recession in other markets. Yeah. So I think all in all, it kind of evens out evens really it, to, yeah. to the most yeah. part anyway. Yeah. Again, we had Takigawa, and this is a lovely spot here. I don't know if the viewers could pick this up. But for me, looking at um, that one pond we went to yesterday, um, some special koi in there. And uh, his, his fish, I think, uh, I sum it up again, Takigawa's good koi are very special. Yeah. Um, when you see the high end, the truly high end stuff, you know, the next level, as, as I guess other breeders are. But for me, again, yeah. Takigawa is in my heart. To have a good one day, to have a great Takigawa would be my goal, yeah. you know if I could ever get to that point. But um, it was a great trip. Um, Stephen and Anthony and myself managed koi to get some koi. We probably would have wanted um, better koi, but the problem is, is with me is I always read and I study and that's part of my job. So then your eye gets better, but then your eye gets better than your wallet. Yeah, you know? that can be a bit depressing, I think, for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, yeah, you learn more. And I think likewise, I think people feel that a natural progression during the course of being in this hobby is such that people feel that the koi are becoming more expensive year on year mm. and in reality it's not it's just their taste is improving yeah. they're getting fussier and whether they realize it or not their taste is pushing towards more expensive fish so yeah that's a good point yeah. because i hadn't con i haven't thought of it that way but that is a good point so so you've got a couple more days here i mean by the time this goes out you would have been home in the uk but you've got yeah. a two more groups to go Two so, more groups um, to go. Yeah, two more groups to take around. So. A couple more harvests. Flat to... out. Well, it's been flat out. Yeah, yeah. And um, you're the third group now. Yeah. You're with. Yeah, two more groups to go, and then um, basically wrap up all the loose ends in Japan, sort out which fish are shipping, and yeah. make all the shipping lists, sort out the documentation for all of that. So there's so quite a bit to do before. Pe I come people back. who are watching this from the comfort of their home, they think that a koi dealer comes out here like yourself. 
just have loads of sake, put eat, on eat, put, put on weight, eat loads of food, don't really Which do is anything. True. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's hard work. I mean, the driving you did, I mean, a couple of times I fell asleep, yeah. but you were still driving, and it is taxing. It um, takes its toll. Know. I mean, like today, here we are, Takigawa, next stop today. I mean, it's, what is it now? 10 o'clock or so? 10 around 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah. So the next stop, Hiroshima Airport, then Higashi Hiroshima Station, mm -hmm. then to Omosako, and then basically from there, more or less do a U-turn up to Matsue for this evening, so that in itself makes a long day. Yeah. Um, and then tomorrow morning, Matsue, and then after that, from lunchtime onwards, hitting the road, going down to Kyushu. Mm -hmm. um, so, and the following day then, coming back up again, so it's, yeah. it does take its toll, you do need a sort of a day or two to recover here and there. For me it was good to see the level of uh, relationship you have with the breeders that you deal with, and it's um, clear that it's not just business, no. um, that you do have a good level of relationship there, and um, for us hobbyists like myself, Stephen and Anthony, and your other customers who come, it, it, it enables us to get to Koi that might be difficult or nearly impossible. Um, unless you have somebody who knows them and willing to show you yeah. those koi. So, that's Japan 2017. Yeah. And uh, my goal is 2019. So, if you could sort of get yourself fit and ready and uh, relax, because 2019 Rasa Koi will be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. So. I'll see if I can make a space in the car for you. <laughs> <laughs> for all my bags and the camera crew and everything. No, it was a great trip. I really enjoyed it. And, yeah, I got a fish. It wasn't probably the fish I would... If I had all the money I'd buy, but it, nevertheless it was a great fish, and then yeah. to know that Takasan picked it for me and he was impressed. I, 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 back it up a little bit. He didn't pick it for you. Ah, you yes. You chose your own no, fish. No, 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 no. You've well, always chosen your own fish. I've always he chose a selection of recommendations fish. within yes. your budget from which yes. you chose. I chose, yes. He didn't choose it for you. No. You forget that one straight for the camera. For the camera. And the we, viewers from because those we that think that your fish are chosen for you. Yes, it is not. But, yeah. Yes. And you could bear witness that I did manage, all by myself, to pick out a Kashira. Indeed you did. Yes, to your yeah. surprise. Much all to my shock. All I even gave you a million chances to change your mind, <laughs> and you didn't. So, yeah. cool. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for everything and, and looking after us. So. Yeah, pleasure. There's one more look at Takigawa Koi Farm. The mud pond here. Mud pond there. Is there any more up there, or that's the last one? That's two more ponds. Two more ponds up there. Yeah, that one and another mud pond further up again. Wow. So, and the boys are down, just down the bottom there, sort of looking at some more fish again. Not really to buy, just sort of looking there, so. Just to be able to see this is a privilege. So, if you ever get a chance to come out to Japan, you should do. And, uh, yeah. Okay, boys, it's our last day. Can you believe already? Yeah, it's a bit, it. bit depressing. Yeah, <laughs> all, the, all the preparation, the flights, we were talking early in the year, do you remember? Yeah. Emailing, texting back and forth, and we could get this flight cheap, and we finally got here, and then we finally, uh, after getting here, we took a day, and then we got up to Mike, and then we saw the car, and now we're going home. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit depressing, like, you know, Can there's you no fuss it goes like, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's good to... But we saw some fantastic koi. Oh yeah, awesome. Was there any koi that sort of stood out to you? If you yeah. could cast your mind back, we started Atokawa, Ueno, I think it's Omosako. probably the Ueno sure, yeah, that was that was a really nice yeah, piece. The Kashira yeah. that Mike, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a really nice piece that like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. your your kawa and yeah. your tan sure. Yeah. yeah. Really good examples. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to see them from last year because yeah. we saw them yeah, last you year. Saw them see last them year. Later, yeah, you saw them last year. See how much they've come yeah. on and grown. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really impressive. Some fantastic shiros at Umasako. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah It'd be great one day to own something at that level, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We yeah, just need nice. to save a bit more. Yeah. And yeah. going back to the Uenos and all to see some some of the you know the eighty plus oh, shores, sure, yeah. ninety five yeah. plus shores. It's you don't you don't Incredible. see them in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. And to see a pond full of them as well, it's just yeah. awesome, you know. Awesome. Yeah. So I wanted to say on camera here in Japan that absolutely, well, one hundred percent, I know. I probably wouldn't have made this trip or been a hobby if you guys hadn't stepped in and helped me out with my koi. So, so those who don't know, uh, moved house in May, started a pond in June, which no, nobody in their right mind does. Um, and you came and rescued my fish from a vat swimming pool 
in the back of the house and uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all your advice and your help with that really because honestly I would have packed it in mm -hmm. not because of the people it's just a hassle mm -hmm. you know yeah, it would have been a lot but of hassle, it had yeah. been a lot of hassle but now the pond's almost done 99% yeah, there good, yeah, and uh, so I wanted to thank you guys for that and your, also your company on the trip it was great we, I think with three of us although mm -hmm. we're different characters mm -hmm. We sort of complimented each other mm, in that sense. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a good trip. I've enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we had a fun. We had fun, didn't we? Yeah, we had fun together. Some good loves, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it'll be good watching back the video once I once I cleaned it up and mm -hmm. get it there. And Mike looked after us. Yeah, you know, and, yeah, he's uh, very good. He is. Yeah, yeah. He, he works hard. He does work hard. Does. Yeah, 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 the driving. Yeah. It's a lot yeah, of driving. It's hard work. A lot of driving. Yeah, yeah and uh, just working everything yeah. out and making phone calls and the booking appointments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reserving hotels there and then a lot of work picking involved, up. Like, yeah. People yeah. don't realize. Like, yeah. 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 So, until 2019. Yeah, roll on. Until 2019, yeah. Rasta Koi. Yeah. 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 So, all right. So this is the last bit. This is our parting shot as we get ready to leave for the train station. And this is the first bit of rain we've seen, so I made the comment to Mike earlier that...